The earliest cultural period recognized by archaeologists in North Carolina is called the Paleo-Indian period, and it dates roughly between about 10,000 and 12,000 years ago. Uh, the key artifact for recognizing the Paleo-Indian period is a lancelet stone fluted spear point. Um, these are usually typed as Clovis or Hardaway, and they're very well made. Um, they're usually made of an exotic raw material, which indicates that these peoples covered a fairly large area during the course of the seasonal round. They were highly mobile. In the southeast, at least, Paleo-Indians had a lot of resource options. Unlike the previous model of Paleo-Indians being just focused on hunting big game or hunting large mammals, that instead um, they had a much more complex economy based both on hunting and also on gathering of a variety of resources when they became seasonally available. The cultural period following the Paleo-Indian period is what archaeologists call the Archaic period and dates between about 10,000 years ago and 3,000 years ago. Uh, during the early Archaic period, the archaeological evidence suggests that people lived still primarily as they had during the earlier Paleo-Indian period. Um, they were fairly highly mobile, uh, population was increasing. Uh, during the subsequent Middle Archaic period, uh, evidence suggests that people began to settle in to much more local environments. The period following the Archaic was a time of change for the peoples who lived in North Carolina and the surrounding Southeast. And it's a period which archaeologists call the Woodland Period. Um, there are four these four significant changes that occurred. Um, the first was the introduction of pottery making. Uh, at the beginning of the woodland period, peoples began to make clay pots, clay vessels, and these um, fragments of these vessels occur in large quantities. Uh, another change that occurred was in weaponry. Now, during the early woodland period, peoples probably still used the old addle addle as they had for thousands of years previously, a spear thrower. Um, but sometime by about the Middle Woodland period, about 1,500 years ago, they uh, abandoned that technology and adopted the bow and arrow. During this time period, the economies also began to change, slowly, but it changed. Uh, instead of being exclusive hunters and gatherers, peoples gradually began to plant and grow some of their own foods. Uh, squash was grown fairly early, as were some uh, native cultigens. And then after 1000 AD, uh, corn was added to the diet, and then beans were added as well. The woodland was also a period in which people began to settle down more. Um, instead of uh, living in small bands or small groups and moving seasonally, they began to stay put. About a thousand years ago, things got a little more complicated. Um, woodland societies continued to exist in many areas of the southeast, but in others, a new cultural manifestation emerged, and this is what archaeologists call Mississippian. In North Carolina, after about a thousand AD, uh, Mississippian societies are recognized in the western part of the state and in parts of the southern part of North Carolina. The divide between the Mississippian world and the woodland, continuing woodland world is about where the Adkin River is, um, the exception being the southern sand hills uh, where Town Creek Indian Mound is located. Town Creek is a Mississippian site. Uh, woodland societies uh, tended to be uh, organized you know, as tribes. Uh, Mississippian towns tend to reflect um, a greater level of organization.